I can't okay, imagine well, being a really bad idea. Right yeah, we, we can just tell them how how I missed it all. Yeah, this, this is a uh, our D and D game recording. It says recording. <laughs> Hey, uh, Nate, you might have to turn down your uh, your speaker input a little bit because you kind of crackle and stuff here and there. Just turn it down to Skosh, and I'll turn you up. I, I stay for the piece. You talking about the microphone? Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, how's that? Good. Uh, I don't hear any cracking, so, yeah, all right. How's that? Yeah, perfect. All right. I got it down to barely nothing. Yeah, it's good, all right. Alright, Jeff, what are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm feasting right now. Ruby says he's feasting. I am too. He's feasting. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent spread considering you're in a small dog village. A good day's travel from anywhere. Um, they, they actually caught some deer and got some venison. And then, you know, well, what's we the know point? who the Raiders are. The guys that showed up were the Raiders, and you took care of the Raiders, so that should be the end of it. You don't have to kill the whole family. Not just really. We only killed two. There was like six. Yes. And they said they'd be coming back with more and more. Oh, they said, oh, they said that, did they? Yeah. And they ran away? Did, did they really say that? Well, yeah, the three of them. Yeah. yeah well, why don't we just wait All right, hold on, guys. They, they left, lap. so I'm changing rooms again. All right. because now I'm on the wireless network. Your test is more important than this. Should have seen the map. The map was a giant yeah. 
brown penis. Yeah. Oh my and god. I didn't even draw it. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even draw it, Jeff. It was but still a big Didn't your character draw the map? Or find the map? No, he found it. Oh, you found it? That may have influenced yeah. the, uh, the terrain. Yeah. There's a giant brown penis. Okay. Three, three tabs on the door? Yeah. Yeah, yeah look at all of them, Jeff. Look at this cat. Look at this cat right here. It's a cat's cat. It's a real cat's cat. <laughs> hey guys, wait before we start. Alright. I want you guys to hear my rap that I wrote about all of them. Alright. Alright, alright, you ready? Yeah. Where's that I'll find it. Oh, L. L.I.E., the head bear in charge, charging after me. Schemes like a snake, but creeps like a lion. These mother cats like rats and crying. Day after day, night after mate after mate, night after night, my homie gets laid. Here, bitch, kitties yelling, meow, meow, more. Even made the dogs around the corner of his home. Pippin' ain't easy, but they're one foot three. They're six foot knuckles, lying in the street. Hawk on the claw like a tree, living on a tree. Laser, razor, stretch, scratch on the nickel. Tear off the couch, bring him down the house. <laughs> OB means business, buys cabinet by the ounce. Wow, brilliant, awesome. That's a job. <laughs> that was really good. That's all about Olive Garden, man. Yeah, that's an awesome rap. Maybe you should uh, go on tour. I like the way he made the dog <laughs> run. <laughs> Definitely. You yeah, got that, that one, Greg? Yeah, good. Good cat rhyming. That's a really good cat rhyming. He's right. I like, I like especially the uh, OB means business buys cat and by the ounce. Yeah, that's a good one. Dope. Dope. Also, also, uh, paw on the claw like fear on a tri- trigger. It's pretty good too. It's all good. Yeah, we noticed you just kind of started to do that. So I like that. Couldn't be that much. But the hair, right? Well, we can find it. Just saying, you know, lighting's a little dark. Yeah, no, we're good. Alright. Oh, yeah, I'm facing. You see the guitar going on? You see the way I destroyed those other black loafers. No, actually, I didn't. I was sleeping. Ah, ha, 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 I destroyed them. I was sleeping. Ha, 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 ha. Daniel. Yeah. Where are you? Excuse me. Since I have a voice. No. Well. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not until you start talking like a man again. Michaela. All right. I prefer your husky voice. What? I prefer Miss Michaela's that. husky voice. I like her to be like, so oh, yeah, I know what's up. Yo, bitch. Let's go. Rod. You coming or what? <laughs> Like the monarch's girlfriend. Yeah. Back to girlfriend. <laughs> well, guys, I, I, I really appreciated who came out, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... yeah, but I think we got the Raiders already. But don't you have to go find rocks, anyways? What? I'm just saying. I'm just saying we killed all the Raiders. But don't we have to find the rocks, anyways? What rocks? <laughs> don't you have to build up some kind of wall? No. Building. No, killed the all the raiders. Yeah, they came. No, they only killed, killed two. two. Yeah, we only. I only got to kill. They said they were coming back. The other ones. Nah, they were big that was and a black and scary. There's no way they're coming back. We gotta go take it. No, they have no honor. I, I fought them. I do. Not after without you, we gotta go, man. All right, fine. <laughs> they're coming. Fine. <laughs> Wait so or without. Coming or staying? Yes. Yes. I'll come. Yay! Huzzah! Yeah, the, uh, we'll have some, more some, of my, some of my goblin friends cheer along with me. That's although, okay. although, yeah, that's here's a better We're idea. We're going to get them! No, no, ah! I, I have a better idea. Why don't we just wait here until they come to get us and we can set a trap for them rather than set them setting a trap for us? 
They're coming back. They said it. Well, so why don't they hang out? What? But they wouldn't know we'd be coming. They'd be expecting to come back and fight us here. Huh. Yeah, we got. Why would they think we? Why would? Why would they think we know where their hideout is? Well, they might assume they might assume we have the map. See this map? Maybe the only reason we have the map is because they're setting a trap. Nah, nah. They're not that smart. I don't think they intended on a friend dying so that we could find the map. Though. That's what they want you to think. No, I don't. I think that would be a maybe. Maybe. Well, considering the uh, considering the skill and the handwriting on that map, I kind of don't think that's going to be an issue. <clears throat> yeah, it was. Uh... <laughs> We're not going there to have a calligraphy contest. They're they're huge. They're big. Okay? They're, they're going not, to kick our ass. Not that big. Especially if there's a lot of them there. I have there so many. Well, can I tell a little reason to find out how many there are at least, right? Yeah, well, they have more. So it's like, we don't have to go in and, and kill them all if there's 30 of them. I mean, if there's just like four or five, maybe we should just take them out. But obviously, if there's a bunch, then we shouldn't even let them over there. Come on, kill us. Yeah, I agree. We should just go. Okay, so what you're saying is uh, we should all go up, take a good look, and then, you know, see what the situation is. And go. Dip out? Yeah, something kind of like that. Something, something. Because you realize if we're just going to knock out the door and it's just going to open up after three knocks or something, and there's a corridor filled with those guys, and only one of us can take them on at a time, we're just going to be killed by sheer number. What? No way. Unless we send him in first. What are you talking about? I, Listen, I, we, we don't have to actually walk in their front door. We can combine the two ideas. We can go to their lair and spy on them, and then draw them out into a trap. We're oh, not going to just allow uh, people to be setting up shop all around their uh, their, their their little village. They're going to they're gonna come out and find us, right? Let's burn them out. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, I like that one. Okay, that's an idea. Maybe we'll kill a bunch of them. And we can set up fire. traps. Or, or there could be yeah, innocent use, people I can inside there that they have, like, captured, and they could die, too. Well, we'll have to check, huh? Maybe. Yeah, yeah we definitely have to uh, work on some different strategies before we come to that. But I at least think we should check it out to see how many there are. Why don't we have Gooper infiltrate somehow since he's akin to them? Yeah, black. Or now. Yeah, but you don't look black at all just because we you're black. We can paint him black. black. Doesn't make you black. But, but I got the sword now. We can put him in blackface. Yeah, I could, I could be in blackface. <laughs> just like work. Well, that would have to be really good disguise. I think, considering he was bigger than any of them, except that lead one. Uh, did the lead one get away? Or did he get chopped down? No, no I, I killed him. Oh, you he, killed he him? He gets really just about him. Uh... Well, maybe he can dress up as. Thanks for guy. talking about that at the feast, by the way. Oh but, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, um, what we could do is skin him and then sew it back together, and I could wear his suit. Where's his body now? Or in a pile. Well, you know what, even if he doesn't, uh, even if, here's an idea, how about even if he gets in, uh, even for a moment, if they don't realize it's him or whatever, you know, if he can just pass it off for a couple seconds, we'll still get the element of surprise, plus we'll be deeper into their, uh, their situation, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Unless there's like 30 of them and they kill them. Yeah, well, like I said, we should smoke them out then. We should smoke them out. <laughs> okay, just... Be burned if people are alive, though. Let's, uh, let's, let's see how many there are first. I'll volunteer. There might only be a few. Yeah, four or five. He's got a point. Maybe the, maybe this tribe. Well, hang on, Nate. I want to roll for my local knowledge. Yeah, nice. My local knowledge. Me too. Go ahead. I got seven. Oh, what? Is that a one? One. Oh, seven. Oh, thank That's God. That's a seven. Thank God. All right, so I don't know anything about it, I'm sure. But that's not a miserable roll or a good roll. Six. Yeah. Well, considering that the uh, Gobber didn't even know that they were the black ones until they actually fought, I, I got those. I can't even know what else in there. Oh, no, what I was thinking of Nate was... What I was thinking of Nate, yeah. What about those things? What I was thinking of was, like, to see if we have the general uh, makeup of these trucks, like today, when we're getting ready for it, it's usually a 
tongue blow this. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the delay. It's kind of fun to like <laughs> make your face move and then watch the delay catch up. All right, yeah. So, yeah, but he rolled a six, so that ain't gonna do us any good. <coughs> Well, I, I just tell you that, yeah. But, yeah, probably like four. Well, hang on, I'm sensing you on that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You should do some little rolling. Holy shit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that? I need a surface in which to roll. Yeah. Yeah. Table. Dude, you guys can see what I roll. Hey, watch this. Hey, you don't need to tell us. Oh, 15. That's the 19 right there. Oh, it's a 19. 19. I can do that. You're right back. I'll find a surface. Hey, cat. What's up? You got a 9 yet? You probably don't buy it here if you have any. Any point. Let's go, look at all right, well, we don't have to worry about that anyway. So you don't take anything he says <laughs> seriously. Uh, you know what? Michaela knows that uh, just generally, when she says so, just generally speaking, since it's black over and aren't usually in this area and we haven't heard about, you know, hordes of them traveling on the roads, they probably can't do that. This certainly could be like a hundred of them living in this you know, hill well, unknown for so long, only yeah. raiding from this small village. I mean, they're not, they're not attacking anywhere else that we know of, right? Yeah, just... Not that we know of. you, you got to explain that to Jared because he just wasn't there for a moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting in the wall. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to pick the pick. Roll it up good. There obviously can't be that many of them. I mean, there could possibly be like, I don't know, how many do you think could live off of supplies they stole? Well, how much do you steal? Well, are they eating the horses? Monkeys. Well, there were, there were, they only took two mules, I think, right? Yeah, but I mean, that could be. Oh, yes, yes. They only took two mules, and they took, you know, some kind of staples like cornmeal and, and, you know, beans and. Well, how no. big of a stew can you make with two mules and some beans? How many do you think there are? Well, I don't know. I just found out they were here. All right. Do you know if they eat horses or mules? Because if they do, they got a lot of food. I don't know what they eat. Ask your friend there. He's as big as they are. What do you eat? Do you eat horses? Yeah, you I, I eat meat. Do you, do you eat horses, though? Sure. All right. So, yeah, they could be feeding a lot of people with those two mules. Why not? Well, that's true. I think they haven't attacked any of the other villages. I mean, they haven't sent word or anything. But I mean, we are kind of like the last just... stand before the city. So, I mean, I can't really imagine they'd be coming to us and not going anywhere else. Oh, how about this? How about this? Let's just go scout them out, hang out for a day, see what goes in and out, and, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, kill them all. Oh. Okay. I'm cool with that. Did you come out? Yeah, what's up, dude? Yeah, you get the major feedback. Who did yeah. me? What was it? Oh, dude. No, I don't like that. I'll do that thing. No. No, you know what it could be? Um, it's because we're not wearing the headphones here. We'll have to do this differently. Yeah, turn it down. Uh, 
All right, hold on a second. I didn't hear driving. I was talking about that. Hold on a second. All right. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you like that? Oh yeah. That's yeah. better for you. You like that? Let me give that a try. <laughs> All right. How we do now? <laughs> Tell me, how's this? <laughs> what you guys think? Is this good? You, well, you're all very clear right now. Very clear. <laughs> Do you still hear the buzzing? No, no. It's great. Oh, you, you didn't hear the buzzing anymore? <laughs> That's great, yeah. That is great. Yeah, no more buzzing. Oh, crap. Yeah, that button's a pain <laughs> in the butt. Wow. I feel like I'm on a carnival ride. Alright, so that should be better, yeah? Because I brought it a little bit closer. So it's further away from the stereo, closer to my mouth. All right, well, in-game, Michaela says, well, now that I have no appetite, I'm going to go lay down, and uh, maybe we'll head out in the morning. Well, I'll walk you to your uh, your quarters, Michaela. And I'll walk you back from her quarters. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, let's All right. go. So, yeah, so I, Michaela I hop leaves around and pull Rafiki out her chair. Well, oh, Rafiki so Fiki pulls out her chair. Only one of us are gonna hear it. How's that gonna work? Rafiki Fiki pulled out her chair, dude. Only a mic. Only a mic? No, it's okay now. I moved it closer and they said it's okay now. Oh, thank you, Rafiki. Rafiki Fiki, do you mind if I call you Fiki? Problem is, you have to get this close to my head. Oh, that's fine. Alright, Fiki. That's cool. You're hot. It is cool. Thank you. So listen, while everyone's sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and kill all of those Ogren. I'm going to roll 1d20. If I get anything above a 15, everybody dies. Oh. Everybody dies. Nice. I got a 17. <laughs> sort of. So that's how many of them you killed? Yeah, you're still dead. <laughs> everybody down. <laughs> so, uh, Daniel, what are you doing? I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, okay. And Rafiki, you're going to go to sleep? Well, actually, hold on, i got to ask Rafiki a question. Grouper, what are you doing, Grouper? I'm flirting with some, some uh, of the locals, and then I'm going to base with one of them. Some Goopier little gobber chick. Goopier yeah. said he's going to mate with one of the, uh, one of the gobber chicks. I heard him. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Put a giant and work together, see what happens. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wait, I got to roll a d20 for... Uh, <laughs> I'm oh so my gosh. I rolled an 18 for his constitution there. That's some trouble right there. Oh, no. Would you roll a 1? 18 for his constitution. Whose constitution? Goopers. Shouldn't see he roll one? get his love thing on. No, it's purely chance. So it depends on how hot the, the uh, <coughs> gobber chicks he found were. And they were pretty hot little 12 year olds. Booby sa says he has no standards. <laughs> yeah, we know Booby. No, Booby said he had no standards. Characters. Oh. oh. The character doesn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have any standards either. Yeah, well, anyway, he scores with a couple of them. And uh, his exploits are touted throughout the village for his tremendous stamina and things. <laughs> okay, so yeah, morning comes. Nothing happened in the night. The uh, villagers are 
in the process of burying all those black oak roots, which is taking a while because they're so small, black oak are so big. But they eventually dig a hole and throw all the rope. That's what one of the Goopier's, uh, Goopier's girls said. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, guys. <coughs> but yeah, they can dig a hole buried. So. What did he do? Bar. Oh, that's fantastic. He did something that reminds me of what Sushi did that one night. What's that? You mean nuzzling into a corner? I think he pooped corner? in the box without... I think, poop, he, I think he pooped in the box without burying it. Oh, my. <laughs> Yeah. God, it smells. Oh, Polly. Fuck, man. Oh, Nate's eating something. And drinking. Are you eating, Nathan? Is that what that that sound is? Don't don't touch the mic. <coughs> you're doing that, you're touching the mic. It's going to cause a lot of... Oh, it's... Oh, no. no, I think it's... I think it's Jared rolling the die on the book or something that's making that rattling noise. Oh. No, I mean, you were doing that just a moment ago, though, right? No, okay. okay it must have been you eating, Nathan. Sounds a little something like this. Hey, let's try that again. Greg's face just melted. <laughs> that was creepy. The distortion made it look like your face was melting in a fire. Yeah, so anyway. <coughs> um, but they're not offering the wagon for you guys to take, but it's not far away. Um, that map <coughs> was probably about, what did I say last time? I think like three hours total distance from the village to the creek. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like I'll pull that map again. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> I'm looking up that map. So we're gonna, we're gonna head towards the penis on the map. We're gonna head towards the penis <laughs> on the map. Yeah. The tip of the penis <laughs> is where we will strike. That's an excellent choice. The glance penis. We <laughs> will fortify the you base. Just gotta watch that it doesn't erupt on you. Might be a volcano. Oh, as we <laughs> head out, I say, penis marks the spot. Let's go. Yeah, right, so you head out. Um, I think you're leaving mid-morning, right? Like, <laughs> like around 9 or 10 after breakfast. Awesome. And, uh, I'd like to make hope that I can <coughs> Hey, you get about uh, an hour and a half This may be away. the day I die. Maybe about... About uh, three-quarters of the way to the... Uh, the glands, the mound. <coughs> so you're an uh, hour and a half in. Um, everybody roll a d20. So we roll a d20. It's a 14 for me and a 3 for Booby. And 14 and 3, huh? Wow. And uh, what about... Sorry. Is that I got including a 12, your, uh, your spot checks? No. For my spot. With my spots... We're looking at a 23, a cool 23, by the way. Cool, one six, dog. Alrighty. Alright, yeah, um, you see some movement 
from like some pretty maybe like two foot, two and a half foot high uh, dark creatures. You can tell they're kind of dog-like in nature. Uh, just kind of off in the distance, you see. Uh, And you hear, you hear there might, be, think there might be a, um, kind of just you can see them, you can kind of hear them. They're uh, kind of making a wide arc around you. Um, from the are they coming for us? Well, kind of like walking around you, kind of. Like, what are we on. seeing though? I'm confused. Well, you seem like oh, okay. I see. Off in the distance, with like the every vision is seeing up. Just just can these are just six there. Nathan, you could bring your off your connection. Oh, yeah, can you hear? Yeah, dude, we can't hear you. You're all choppy. Yeah, you're cho- you're like we're talking like are you fucking sort of. Yeah. Hey, uh, what the did you son of a. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Give it a, give it a sec. Give it a sec. It's count to ten. All right, try now, Nate. Better. Better. Say a whole sentence, longer sentence. Okay. Well, so anyway, did you understand what I'm telling you now? Yeah. yeah. See, my trick worked. I shrunk my screen. That might help too. Actually, works out better for me anyway. I see. You seem like you said shade, like <coughs> two feet off the ground. You know, dog-like in nature, like I said before. Okay. Kind of tr- hey, kind of trotting around you. Do you have um? Do you have the image of yourself on screen? Yeah, I love that. If you, I would say minimize that because you don't need to show us dice rolls, because that it could. I just remember for how slow your computer is. It could be choppy because of the raw CPU power. No, no, man. I switched. This is my home computer now. This is a bitch ass kicker. Oh, okay. It's not the CPU. I'm, I'm not worried about that. It might okay. increase the connection speed though if I'm not looking for something. Right? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty awesome right there. That's what she did. <laughs> gotta be careful doing that, man. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so the question then becomes, so see, um, awesome. what is this little dog-like creature? Is it a kobold? Is it like a wolf? Uh, uh, alright. <laughs> no, I think those are Argus's. Excuse me. What? The bus? Argus's. You know an Ar- Argus? Never heard of it. Yeah. Uh, you, get, it's got a, you guys got to look at the Monochron. Oh my god. They're freaking monster dogs. I can name them dogs. Two headed dogs. Monster. Dog. Yeah. Omnicron. Two headed dogs. Team size magic beast. Hit dice. 3d10 plus 320 hit points. He is 40. Yeah. That's the, by the way, Nathan. Nathan? Yeah. How do you spell Argus? Yeah. How do you spell Argus? Just just, uh, type it out. A-A-R-E-U. Arvus. No, Argus. A-R-G-E-S. Do you really like talking, goat? Man. Okay, Argus, I got it. What page is it in there, dude? Uh, hold on. Well, it's not. It's not that important. I'll find it. Page. I just want to see. Page. Page. Awesome, dude. <coughs> that motherfucker. He's he's a creepy motherfucker. Hey, show us. Uh, I can't. It's on the wrong. It's on the wrong computer, man. Oh. <laughs> you don't have the monster on the crown, Greg? Why would or I have that? No. Not yet. Come on. Um, yeah. 
Greg. I might have it. Greg. I have no idea where. It's like the Monster's Manual for Iron Kings, dude. It's actually the best Monster's it's Manual ever made. It's very just like two-headed part. <laughs> It's the best monstrous manual ever made. Okay. Anyways, yes, it's a two-headed dog. That's all we need to know. Right. Well, so, yeah. so I, I, so I get really nervous, and I stand next to Gooper, <laughs> and um, I start looking around at any of the trees around me to see which ones I could, uh, I could use to my advantage with my ropes. Nathan, I put it in my purse. I take it out of his purse. I say, "What's wrong, little buddy?" Why are you standing so close? Look at those. What, where? Look at those. How many are there? There's just one I'm or pointing. two. I'm looking. Got to roll again. Hey, Nate. Uh, Is there one or two, Nate? Most of the trees are pretty deep into the Most of the trees are in one. <laughs> Remember, for the village, we did edge of the forest, so there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Old road in the middle of it. And around the village. But, I mean, you might be able to, like, like I said, climb one up and get away, and, and that would definitely keep you their range. But uh, you, you couldn't, you couldn't be funny here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Did you understand what he said, Jerry? <laughs> he said something about trees, and you can't climb them. He said that it would get me out of range, but that, 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 that's what I heard. You know, let me turn on the mic. You know mind. what, Nate? You're plugged into your cord, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. No. Wow, oh, you sounded so good just there. Yeah, you did. Oh, God. I just so cranked cool. up my microphone. Oh, God, it was so good. What now? We should yeah, try. Still so good. We should try not talking at the same time. Okay. Well, we were all just sitting there waiting while Nathan was talking. If yeah. I recall correctly. Pretty much. So anyway, there were a few trees you could climb just to get out of the way using your rope. Your rope usage. Are we in a? Yeah. Well, I don't know, like I said, so- the branches are big enough where you could actually sit on them and like. You know, shoot, but uh, you couldn't really like swing from tree to tree like you did before. Okay. Too far apart. <coughs> uh, you start hearing some like snarling and kind of growling coming from their general direction. Uh-oh. How many? Well, I, you saw you saw like three or four, and you could tell there was like maybe one ah. more off to the side. Three or four. Yeah. Eight. Ah, holy fuck shit. Knock him, knock him, knock him, fuck him. <coughs> okay, well, in that event, in that case, so, yeah, now that they're my staying right behind you, they've definitely picked up your scent. And, uh, uh, so, so we get the impression like in they're, they're interested in oh. killing a motherfucker. They're not just sniffing uh, around, they're like, we want to eat these bastards. Roll a d20. Sense motive. Absolutely, on the Argus, it shouldn't be too hard. <coughs> Actually, it's probably going to be on like knowledge of animals, or it could be a sense motive. Do you have any knowledge of animals? Four. It could be sense motive with a negative four for not being a humanoid. Three. Michaela knows. Yeah, they're going to come after us, guys. The old right. ranger scores. They're definitely going to come after us. They're 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 getting that look in their eyes. Great. Nice. I take out my uh, new magical sword. Greg, I'm just warning you, you better stop doing that. Nathan, listen to me. Can you hear me clearly? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Don't do it. My girlfriend's in the room. Don't do it. I repeat. Karina is in the room. <laughs> anyway, now yeah. that you stopped all this ridiculousness, yeah. Hey, <laughs> they're in range, so um, 
Roll a d20 for initiative, just because I'm curious. Hold on. Oh, if she doesn't win, I'm going to be mad at all of you. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> yes! Do we have any food in the uh, in the wagon with us? Do we have any food? There's no wagon. We're walking. We're walking, Greg. Why are we God. walking <laughs> the wagon? <laughs> are we walking the Greg. wagon? No, no. We don't want to... We're trying to sneak up on them, dude. Yeah, we don't want to have a wagon. <laughs> oh, so we walk there. Yeah. That's right. I, I, I understand that. Yes, you're walking. Alright, so... Am I walking on the wagon? My, my ini- Nathan, my initiative is a 26. Nice. I got Damn, it's a 26. What the hell did you roll? A D20, he rolled a D20. You got a 17 on a D20? That's right. Nine? Holy shit, isn't it? Hey, listen, you you cannot be caught caught by surprise, my friend. Nathan. I look over to see if Kupier is possibly carrying, uh, like, a leg of lamb or a steak on him or something. (laughs) Is that something you usually carry on your person, Rupert? No, no, it is not. But I'm just wondering why these things are following us. I'm a vegetarian. They they caught our scent. They are dogs, and they have two heads per animal, so they can smell pretty well. Okay. <laughs> Do they have two butts too? The same. Because I'm gonna be Actually, the they shit might have three them. heads. Or four. You never know. Oh, you guys, same as me. I got a little bit better. It's like a- Alright, so, Rafiki, you said you got a 27? 15. Daniel, 15? Uh, 17. I got 15. Uh, Ah, sorry, numbers. Sorry, make that a 16. 16, for me. (laughs) Rupert? I got 15. I got 15 only. And. Yoshi just like me. Okay, so, Kiki. Um, you see that the, one of the dogs is stuck in the church, and uh, the others are following on the first dude. Um, basically, you basically caught, you basically lost the first, first four seconds to go first. What are you going to do with yourself? They're about uh, 33 yards away. I'm going to giddy up the uh, horses on the wagon. I guess the wagon is back in the village. First, uh, I'm going to kill Greg. And then, um. I'm going right, to fire one of those hand crossbows and see that bad boy can do. No, I'm. I, I want to. It's within uh, range for. It's within range. I was supposed to try it. I mean, it'll take another turn, so I'm just trying to get an air. Alright, face at 40. Maybe, <clears throat> so that's what, 40 feet per round, so. Maybe I can knock one of those bitches out, and uh, the other ones will get scared. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm like 80 or 100 feet right now. Go ahead, aim at those bitches. Sam, just keep going. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and aim at those bitches. Alright, you ready? Jared, we, 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 we try. Alright, I got a, uh... Alright, come on. Come on, then. Well, in that case, I got a thousand. No, um, on my tempo, I got a, um... Wait, why, did, why is my repeating crossbow so much higher? Well, in any case, 12 plus 10.22. Why do I have a plus 10? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, I have no idea why you have a plan for that's what the character she is. Like that doesn't make sense to me. It's so magical. So, yeah, the match is the character front character, but I don't use front G. No, I'm using character front. Character front. You gotta turn your mic down, man. Hey, you gotta turn your mic down a little bit. Because it's kind of screeching and like going nuts. Is there. Does anything affect uh, like your, your guys? 
Does anything affect your uh, ranged weapon attacks? Is there any ability score modifier for that? Dexterity, that's it. Dexterity. Oh, that's why, okay. Yeah, that's why I'm, I have such a high roll to score. That's though. why, though, yeah, that's why. Alright, so I got a 22. Yeah, but Jared, right, even so with a, a 20... uh, You should still only have like a maybe a 9 at most. Oh, well, what's this, Nathan, maybe this is left over from when you had me at Warrior. That makes sense. He has this left over from when I was a Warrior. Does it say that? Or does it say Rogue? It doesn't, no, it says Rogue, but... Well, go up to the top, does it say, does it say Fire or Rogue? No, it definitely says Rogue. I'm saying maybe it doesn't, didn't calculate the, uh, it didn't change the ranged weapon, but no, it says it did. Wait a minute, wait it a minute. It says that it's using the lookup table. Okay, well, yeah, you're, you're a level 6 rogue, right? So that means what's your base attack? I don't know. What's the character? You don't know what your base attack is for being a rogue? Oh, come on. Come on. No. oh wait, it says range is... It says my base is 10. Listen, guys. Yeah. Here's, the, here's what it is. I have a plus 4 for... I'll, I'll I have a plus five for my ability your range modifier. Is not in because you have four, four three ability. No. no. Wait. I have a plus one for my raise. And a because you need these are big hit bigger things. So you're getting plus six right there, plus your base, which is probably four. I have a plus ten on it, that makes sense. Alright. Yeah, that does. Well, Alright, so I got a 22. Yeah. Um, well, but he is at the end of edge of your range. <coughs> right? What's your range? Dude, I got a 110, right? I got a 22, man. Don't so, matter. He's running towards you. Yeah, okay, we hit him. That's right. He yelps. Well, he's more than <laughs> Actually, one of the heavy moves yells, the other one kind of growls. It's probably just dead. Dude. Uh, okay. I don't have a, I don't have, I don't have a D8, uh, so I'm just gonna roll a D10. Hope I don't get a D8. I, I got a six. six. No, it says D8 right here. Okay. Right on my weapon, dude. It says I D8. just rolled a D8. And you got six. Take the six. Well, I got an eight. I'd rather take that. Where's your D8? Hey. So you I D8. said. I said I was going to roll a D10 and just not yeah. count the 10 to not. Anyway, that hurt. Eight. Fuck your mind. Yeah, yeah, you heard it. But he's still coming. Terrible. It's like Pierce. It pierced it it one of his neck. Like on the side. Oh. Kind of like through the muscle of his neck. Ah. Passage. But now the other head is really snarling at you and it's charging full bore. And the other four are coming in behind it. So, uh, yeah, since uh, I'm going next, that's it, dude. Oh! Oh, yeah, they got him. For nine, and my second shot, I got him again. Ten. Oh my God! He died right there. Oh, he shot two arrows. Too fast. And then he fell down dead. Yeah, that's pretty much what he sounds like. That was good. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, we yeah. did. What was that? Yes. All right. That was a dog snarl. Okay. <laughs> Sounded like a zombie. <laughs> But yeah, he's dead. Um, so there's four more that are still coming. Hold on. Um, they probably want to get to the next round, so you guys can do the round. Let's see who goes first. Daniel, what are you going to do? I'm going to hide behind Goopier. Why is there one? Hi. I'm going to use my entire action to hide behind him. And I'm actually going to hold my action while standing behind him, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I got you. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Hey, Nate, what does that new sword do? Um, well, it's it's a, a sword, great sword. And 
forge. Um, you get a plus plus one to attack. Okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll help. Yeah. yeah. I'm holding my action as well. You're doing what? I'm trying to, like, get out of the, like, hide behind Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding my action. So you guys are basically wrestling with each other, trying to get one behind the other. R- roll a strength check real quick. <laughs> Should be fun. Well, no, Nate, they're not, not <coughs> they are, but I'm not. I'm just staying behind them both. They're fighting oh, okay, against yeah, one the other. <laughs> But yeah, go ahead and roll the strength to see who wins the strength. I got, I got three. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> I push him in front of me. Yes. No, 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 no. Basically, you just can't grab onto him, and uh, he's kind of huddling behind you. So, yeah, yeah. Um. Unfortunately for Michaela, she's at the tail end of the party. So they're going to start coming in for her. Nice. And since... Since... <coughs> since we both go before the, the Argus dude. Rafiki, go ahead. What are you going to do? Dude, I'm going to shoot that knuckle with my crossbow here. I'm going to blast the cap right with this other guy. Dude, all right. Start so right. trying to hide. Start trying to hide. Never mind. <laughs> That's critical. How do I find out if it's critical? Roll again. Roll it again. It is critical. Uh, seventeen. Yeah, nice. You're gonna have eighteen, right? Eighteen to twenty. 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 Oh, you rolled the twenty. Actually, they did it. Oh All right, then yeah, you got it. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's time three. That's time two, right? You're right. Uh, yeah, no. Times two. Times two. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the roll same thing. Yeah. Yeah. If I get a, a nine or a ten, I'll roll. Hey, you do that. <laughs> yeah, you do that. I got an eight. <coughs> Sixteen damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what is one where you shooting at? With a score, I'm kind of running the road, you know? Oh wait, was the one I already hit dead? Because if it's not, I was going to shoot it dead. Yeah, no, I killed him. Okay, that's my problem. So yeah, I'm going to hit the lead one then. Alright. Yeah, he, he, uh, he kind of... <coughs> You're both kind of hit him under the chest, and he kind of stumbles and like, trips over the impact of the bolt. Impact of the bolt kind of He gets back up, but he's not charging anymore. You can tell she sounds really bad. I got it! But it's restless so far. It's restless so Well, it's see, I'm going to drop my 12. Does that get back down? No. Nah. Nah. I mean, you, you mean pressed in a corner, or do you mean, like... Is he I still mean, coming like, at you? I mean, like, if you charge, you he's like, not coming at you now. Yeah, put your, put your uh, headphone back in. Oh, yeah, sorry. It was a favorite. So I tell you guys, well, at least I got laid last night. Get ready, they're getting close. Where are they? Yeah, so I'm going to drop my bow. You see, you see Michaela drop her bow. And she draws her great sword and she kind of stands there waiting. <coughs> one of them to get close enough. And, uh, Daniel, what are you going to do? Why do you like deep here? Right? I'm going to hide behind deep here. He's holding his action. I'm holding my action for an attack so that as soon as they get next to me, I punch them right. and drop kick. Okay. Is it a dagger or is it a Well, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use beats in this situation since uh, I'm dealing with dogs. 
But listen, Nathan, seriously, as soon as they get close enough, as soon as they get close enough, man, I'm just gonna pounce. <sighs> like that, okay? <laughs> okay. And Grouper, what are you gonna do? Attack. Wait, is it. Hang on, okay. hang on, hang on. Is it Grouper or Gooper? Gooper! G R O. What? Yeah. No, it's, it's Gooper, not Grouper. It's Gooper! Gooper. G O O O P E R. Yeah. Yeah, no R, not Grouper. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's an R, then. Gooper. Oh, it's Gooper. Yeah. Gooper. Gooper. So, Gooper, you're, you're going to run into attack? Yeah. <coughs> I'm actually All right, so um, you're just going to kind of run up and stand next to Michaela, or you're going to go past Michaela and that's a hit one? I'm going to defend. Using your move action and your defend. attack. I'm going to get in front of Michaela. Not in front of her, but position myself, protecting her. <laughs> okay, so like kind of kitty corner? Yeah. And head up with the side of, kind of like yeah. that? Yeah, something like that, but like more advanced. But more advanced. <laughs> do do elaborate, movie. Okay, so like I'm I'm standing like sideways to wherever she's standing. Oh, so you're sitting next to her. Yeah, but like sideways. You know? <laughs> okay, like you're back to her. Yeah. And I, I tell her I got <laughs> great brain this morning. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so yeah, the, the, uh, the rest of the artists reach you. There's, uh, You'll hear about my stamina when we get them. back to town. And plus the one in the back that uh, Tiki shot at. All the rage. The first, the first two are gonna pretty much both lunge at the same time. One's gonna go for you, one's gonna go for Michaela. <coughs> and um, since she was pretty close to you anyway, and Daniel certainly wasn't putting up a fight about staying behind you, um, you were able to do that on the swimming with your with your move action. So, <coughs> so we do both still have initiative. So Michaela's gonna take a swing with a great sword, and uh, yes, she did. kind of swung your your blood forge red blade you basically brought it up in front of you and kind of swung it around in a forward arc right around since you were standing sideways you just kind of let go with your left arm and just carried the whole weight of it with your right arm and you just sliced right through that that just he was jumping up at you and in addition to that you even you even slashed right through the dog that was jumping at me you cut one of its heads off nice <laughs> so um However, the other two are still attacking. Do you have two attacks, Hicker? Gooper? I don't know. I just don't know because I don't have a book. Yeah, he does. 
Oh, yeah. If you're a level 6 fighter, you have another attack, but it's only right. plus 1, plus Bounce. your modifier. Okay. But not including a move, though. But damn, another 20. Oh, my oh, God. damn. He just rolled a double 20. Dude! <laughs> one more, dude. Roll one more for the triple 20. All right. <laughs> Triple T. Oh my god! Triple T. Oh my god! Jared, I swear to god that just happened. I'm here watching it. He just rolled a triple 20 for the first time since that one kill I got. Fucking dog. Do you even know what that means, Nathan? Nathan, do you know what that means? Yeah, it means both the dogs are literally obliterated. It means instant death for whatever it is that you're fighting. That could be a dragon. Or anything. Or a Seriously. demon from the 30th layer of the abyss. The last time this happened, I was... When, I, when you brought... The last time this happened, Gruber, I threw you, a dagger into a giant's ear and killed it. With a dagger. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you were just dealing with a couple of Argus since you slaughtered the other one. Um, however, they literally just burst into blood and you hit them. You just had to touch them with a blade and they just exploded. Both from the one in front of you and the one that was jumping onto Michaela. <laughs> so both its both of its maws were like this coming towards her, and they were like inches from her. I say, stand back, party. I'll take and, care yeah, of it. You this. pretty much cut their, cut their heads off. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing left. Um, Michaela is now covered in blood because they just blew up. You are too. <laughs> For a, triple, for a triple 20, I'm going to have to say that uh, your blade seemed to suck in some of that blood. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of like <laughs> drank it in. It's pretty crazy. In fact, it freaked you, freak you out a little bit. But since you just seen such incredible power coming from yourself, you were okay. So yeah, there's some more Arcus. Uh, Michaela does comment after playing with the fingers of that uh, if we can save any of the Argus pelts, they're worth a fair amount of money. Oh. Hey, uh, Nathan. Yeah. The ones that exploded, probably. Yeah. Nathan, uh, since, uh, since uh, they're all dead, I'm going to suggest that we put the pelts on the wagon and get moving. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> since... Uh, since Goober destroyed them so utterly, basically he kind of popped them right out of their skins, and there's two perfect pelts on the ground now. Oh, nice. <coughs> kind of like a like a drop in a video game. Very nice. I go ahead and check their coin purses. Monsters always had money in video games. So you slice open their bellies? No, I just, I checked their wallets. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no pouches. It's oh. Their like wallets. A 20, a 19, a 20, a 20, a 20. That was amazing. <coughs> that was amazing, movie. That was amazing. <laughs> you guys are going to think you can take on drag. It's for crying out loud. <laughs> well, triple 20s, we can take anything That's out. That's true. <laughs> um, Mika Michaela sees you kind of checking over the body, looking for some something valuable. It does suggest that you cut open its stomach. Uh, <laughs> Since dogs tend to eat everything they come in contact with. Yeah, including if it, if it was something valuable. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> not in the stomach. You can if you like. I'm uh, not going to cut this thing open. Coin first. <laughs> I think. Yeah, right, she shrugs her shoulders and does it since, uh, <coughs> she kind of feels she owes it, owes it to, to Goober in case there's anything in there. And yeah, two of the dogs, she finds uh, a couple of things, like there's a finger in one of the dogs and there's a little bronze ring on it. <coughs> so she definitely removes the ring ring finger and uh, gives it over to Goober. And, uh, the other one, she found a couple of <laughs> a couple silver pieces that are kind of digest a little bit, but they're still, you know, good and still tender. So she cleans them off and kind of hands it over to Cooper. Cooper. Oh, oh, you're gone. Take it everyone's ready to continue on.
on now. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Wow, that was horrible, guys. Good work, Cooper. The slap him on his uh, elbows. He's looking at his shoulder. What we're here for, you know? Doing things. I knew, did the, I, knew I did the right thing by pushing you ahead. <laughs> so, look about changing the luck. You can't, you can't fight off Daniel. He's just destroyed. Completely obliterates <laughs> any enemy. So anyway, you continue on towards the clans. That's the name of this uh, bog area. So we, uh, so we're nice. we're kind of walking along the shaft of the map. No, no, nonsense. You're kind of walking at almost a, I would say, direct uh, gravity angle. So basically, if there was something dripping out of the glands, it would hit you right on the face. That's pretty much the way you have to pull off right now. Glandular, right? That's funny. <coughs> yeah, so anyway, um, in about another half an hour... <coughs> um, actually, you know what? I'll do you guys a favor. Um, Rafiki, you were born here, so go ahead and, and, and roll a 20 to see if you remember something important. I got a 1. No! Nah. <laughs> Hold on a second. One's always critical when you're doing a uh, when you're doing a skill check. Edition is coming out on uh, uh, in June. No, oh, awesome. Yeah. All right, nice. That was good work. You know, I really like this Ubu. This Ubu is fantastic, especially when Nathan farts. Yeah. The advertising. <laughs> this game brought to you by Sierra Mist. Congratulations, apparently. Actually, that, that wasn't the fart. That was the chair. Really. Really? You expect us to believe that, Nathan? I, I, I do. I would never do that in front of Greg. <laughs> You've been on As a matter of fact, that could have been the reason I walked away. But it wasn't. I had to get some coffee. Lies. Lies. Anyway. <clears throat> you guys hear this huffing and puffing coming from a ways behind you? <clears throat> You look back and see this monkey. He's got this pack on his back and he's like, uh, 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 uh. and then you hear him, why did you leave without me, guys? I was coming with you. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, you never made mention of it, right? I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were coming, Monk. Really? You said last night at the feast. I said last night at the feast I was coming with you. I didn't know that. Sorry. You just weren't listening or it cut out. It must have cut it out. <laughs> I always listen to you, punk. Why are you guys coming over here? My gosh, what happened to those Argus? They looked like they were blown up. Well, something. I killed them out of blood and, and we were killed here. You know, like all of them. <laughs> like what I killed? Yeah, here's your two crossbow bolts. I pulled them out for you. I thought you might want them back. And here's your arrows, uh, Michaela. Uh, uh, thanks. But yeah, you guys shouldn't be over here. We need to go around this this big mound, this gland. Oh, this gotta gotta get away from the glands, guys. There's bog trucks in there. Well, thanks for the heads up. Thanks, Mom. I'm so glad you made it. 
you guys what need to send you a picture one? of Bogtrog? What happened for uh, Jared's one? We don't know. <laughs> oh no, you were just continuing on. He didn't even think of it. But um, since he was from the area, he should have known that there were for bog frogs there. But um, he just decided that uh, there was nothing. So he just kept on walking away. Then we got really the glands. Beef showed up. Can we walk around the glands? We'll no, you're actually still pretty close to them. What's a bog truck? We really need to get out of here. Alright, let's leave. Alright, come on. Like this way. I mean, this way. It's a bug truck. That's what I know a bug truck is. It's like a... Oh, you want to know what this? All right, hold on. Ah! Jared's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ. Wow, it's that's smoother now. Yeah, it is. It's better without Jared. Well, since he's gone, I'll pull up a bog truck for you so you can see what they look like. All right. You guys gotta like download webcam max so you could uh, show us images and other stuff. Alright, let's see if I can hold this up with my phone hold. Copy image. Oh copy image. Oh, it's copy. <laughs> So anyway, the picture of the bot car is coming. Well, a bunch of Do we see one? No, yeah. you guys, well, you guys are about 20 minutes away from the edge of the plants. So, uh, they don't venture too far from their, from their natural habitat. by Jared again. Oh, I just got a call. It's Jared. Hold on. I'm, I'm sending him an invite right now. Yeah, no bother. No bother. Thank you. Uh, what happened there? Did you guys see each other too, or did I see each other too? No, he no, just lost us. He failed on us. Oh, Greg, you should have the bog truck. Uh, yeah, I got it. Oh, my. What page is it, Nate? Oh, let's go that way. What um, page is it, Nate? Page, page 18. 18, 18, 18. What page? 18, 18, 18. 18. Gonna check out the monster nuts. Oh, we brought the nuts. The I'm gonna peanuts. put them in your. Hey, Nathan, I'm gonna just put them in your face. No. Try hunt. Try honey roasted. So those are nice. <laughs> yeah, give me those nuts. I'll take some peanuts. That tastes awesome. The bot up truck's awesome. Yeah, let's not go that way. Yeah, they're, they're pretty funky beasts, huh? I don't want to go that way. <laughs> Way from the bog frogs. Yeah, they're pretty weak though, guys. They're only like nine hit points a piece. Oh. Little pansies. So let's go. They look really awful. I'm if afraid it's a, of them. If it's a shortcut, let's do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
a couple blocks. I mean, they're, they're bigger than the gobbers, so the gobbers would probably be scared of them. Just saying. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not a, going there. I'm not a gobber, though. They're uh-huh. fucking awful. I mean, Why they're they really hard to hit, too. Do we see them or something? <laughs> of course, with triple 20s, it's not going to matter. Yeah. Um, you know what? Brett, roll a d20. Mung Lee told us about them. Yeah, he, he told you about them, but go ahead and roll a d20 anyway. But we got a three, finally. That's all that thing gets is threes and twenties. I got, I got a, I got a 13. I got What's a shot on my device. What's your spot? Spot? Um, He's got nothing, and I've got... Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's not going to be enough. Wait, are you sure that 20, uh, 22 isn't enough? I'm sure 22 isn't enough. Oh. What about 32? Oh. That would be enough. I don't... Okay, I'll know that for next time. All right. Well, I have my repeating crossbow at ready since I'm kind of nerve wracked from that uh, encounter with the Arabus, and then you know talking all this talk about Bob Trogs, which is you know as a child have always scared me. Yeah, you had totally put it away though, because you thought you were just walking in totally peaceful lands. But n- now that he reminded you, yeah, I'd say you're pretty scared. Especially, yeah. you're even probably more scared by the fact that you've totally forgot about them. Yeah. <clears throat> And I'm standing behind, uh, Cooper. As a He's matter of fact... my nose up at his smell. The, uh, totally bog s- trucks are, are well known for having conflicts with, uh, gobbers. They might even be dire enemies. Oh, God. Oh, ah. <clears throat> bog trucks are just for your information. I mean, you know, you saw the picture, but they're, they're aquatic, reptilian in nature, so they're kind of scary looking. <laughs> Especially their chief in, like, in the picture you saw. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, so you, I take it you guys go around the glands, right? Instead of yeah. going through them? Yeah. Entering the glands? We don't enter the glands. Avoid the glands at all costs. Yeah. Great. All right, so yeah. Get me up on the wagon. Just so you know, there were three of them, but they weren't going to get any closer to you because they were at the very edge of their uh, domain. <coughs> so I just decided to go straight through three of them when I know it immediately. <clears throat> and there's a whole tribe in there, which Monkey may or may not have known. So yeah, you, you oh, skirt wow. the edge, which puts you probably around noon. I'm going to say it probably took you an extra hour because you had to kind of go around. <coughs> um, so, yeah, you're, now you're to the... Uh, you're kind of coming to this clearing where you can tell the creek kind of runs through. And it's actually fairly wide at some parts, but uh, it's nowhere near um, a river or anything like that. Oh. You're chatting. Who are you? I can't hear it. Whoever saw it, I can't hear it. Now. Okay. Is that a movie? Yeah, don't worry. Why is it so far away? He was talking to someone else. Greg likes to be. I can't worry. <laughs> Sorry. I can't okay, so Nathan, there's, there's a river in front of us. It's not a river, no, it's a creek, but it's pretty wide. I mean, maybe it's like eight feet wide, because you're kind of like in a wide area. But I'm scared. I'm scared to get close to it because of all this bog truck talk. Yeah, I'm scared of it. 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 Yeah, but you know there's no bog trucks in the area. They stay in that. I'm still scared. I might venture out. What if there's bog trucks in there? I got certainly six, wouldn't be from the same tribe. You got a 16 to jump over it. Wow. 
Um, yeah, you can do that. You take a running start at it, or you're just going to try yeah, to jump yeah. it from, from the bank? Take, take a running start. Alright. <laughs> do we need to cross? Yeah, you pretty much vault it. Uh, well, considering the map kind of shows the entrance to the, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You might want to take a look around first, but I well, if we're anywhere near if the... wants to jump across, you can do that. So. If, if we're anywhere near the stuff on the map, we're definitely going to fall back and think about this. <coughs> well, yeah, I mean, I said you kind of got to the creek. And if you look at okay. your beautiful map, you'll see the creek is pretty much right there in front of me. All right, so, the, right so we're not going to jump across that. We're going to hang out and talk. Hi. Is that right, Cooper? Or are you yeah. going to jump anyway with your sister? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sit chat about jumping across the screen. I suggest we jump right. across it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get any idea of where we are exactly in relationship to the... Uh, I can probably throw oh, it if you want. If you look at if you look at your map, yeah, that beautiful piece of artwork. Yeah, I'm seeing it. If you draw um, a diagonal line connecting the tip of the glands to the door, the entryway, and kind of <coughs> put your put your cursor right right on the tip of the water at that imaginary line, that's pretty much where you guys are. The door is that brown spot in the middle of the white, right? Uh, that's what you believe, since that's the only other more thing that's kind of on the map. Okay. And it says bang door or for kids. <coughs> I mean, you can assume that's probably a door of some sort, maybe a cave. Well, this is, so, so I'd say, I say if we come back at night, but we go further up, uh, let's go further up the creek and then come back in the, when it's uh, dark now. I think we should jump across this river, lake. Don't you? Don't these people see better at night? Yeah, we do. At least better yeah, than us. Yeah, they do. We, we have night vision. Yeah. yeah. We'd be at a Sorry, disadvantage if we went at night. Oh, okay. All of us but Cooper. Never mind. It's not like we can't see during the day, though. We can, but we can all see that way, not just that way. Yeah, so you, you guys can kind of tell that Michaela's kind of trying to find out where the engines might be. She's kind of looking at the... <coughs> kind of, it's, it's hard to describe this. Um, think, think of that uh, that gray area that, that I was saying is like a mountain. Think of that as like a, uh, a fairly steep incline of, of just rock. It's almost like a granite mountain coming up out of the ground. <laughs> um, kind of like no a stone mountain. There's no yeah, there's trees, no trees on, on that. But that. That's like all granite or like you know marble. Well, are there trees on this side of the river? Oh, you can build up. Yeah, creek? yeah. You're kind of like at the edge of the trees. So we're hidden in the trees. The creek. Yeah, well, we're, we're definitely going to fall back into the trees while we're discussing and thinking. Because my guess is that they yeah. can just have one. No, of course. Out. I, I assume. Yeah. There are a few trees in front of. The, the mound of rock, but okay, so the rock yeah, you can see water then. Okay, no, not directly. Well, no, it does down. Well, it does down spot. Yeah, it, it touches down lower, but but not there. I see it. I just want to make sure that the map is accurate. I mean, it's oh yeah, the map's very accurate. Impeccably <laughs> accurate, as a matter of fact. So they have yeah, I mean, there's there's photographers. There's no more than like six or eight feet of trees in front of the door, so. Right. You can guess they probably stole the map and just added to it in their own. What happens if we go? What if we go all the way around and come from behind? Maybe, maybe they won't be expecting because uh, most of the civilization is on this side, and, and people would have to go way over the rock wall to, to, to get to them. Maybe, maybe they have less. Uh, defense from that angle, and, uh, and we can take advantage of that. But maybe they only have one door, so either way we'd be climbing over <laughs> just to end up in front of their door. No, no, we'd be coming from above and behind. Well, I can see the entrance. It looks kind of like a, like a what? large Where? cavern entrance. Where? Where's I the entrance? I, I don't see it. Over there. I don't... I'm pointing at it. He's 
pointing. I, it's right there between those two trees. Oh. Oh, I see it. Oh, there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. There, there's the entrance. Oh. <laughs> no, it's over there. Oh, that way. That way. sense that we might want to climb uh, behind it up, based on where it is, I mean. Well, think of it this way, the the drawing there is almost in the shape of a triangle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Imagine that there's, that there's a to? peak of rock at the very center, if, if you triangulated that triangle. Okay. I got you. At the very center, that would be a peak, right. so it would not so be good really to try to climb over it. <laughs> well, it's a mount. Maybe at the high point it might go up uh, 30 feet. No, no, I meant the... Oh, it's only that low. Okay, I meant the, the door. It's the a mount of the... rock coming up out of the ground like this. And the door I mean, is a lot bottom. bigger than this. There's, there's the a door. cave at the bottom. It's, a, it's like a cavern entrance to the bottom. What is this, a cave for rats? Um, <laughs> no, I got it. Because you said it's like this, but bigger. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Fine. Both going. I knocked three times. Um, Daniel. you can, you can, anybody else looking at the Daniel, door after the killer point that? Yeah, I looked over there. I think that we should. All right, you noticed there were like two torches just kind of at the edge. Day. Touch them for a day. Watch them for a day. See what goes in, what comes out. <coughs> Is there a bridge somewhere over the creek thing? No, it's it's shallow. Maybe like four feet at the deepest for the over and it's no problem just to walk right through. That's it. far too deep for me. Hey, I could carry you, Fiki, says Michaela. Uh, <coughs> Oh, oh, hey. just no way, I know. Ricky, you can get on my back and I'll walk across from you on top of me. That'll be great. And he flexes his little muscles. Uh -oh. oh, all right. Thanks. Uh, guys. Um, so we'll just have to go fast because they won't be able to breathe underwater. We are getting paid for this, yes. right? Yes. Yes, of course. Pay the satisfaction that Yes, definitely. Does. Of course we'll pay you. We'll what? pay you... Tickets fee. How about... How does, uh... 20 gold per over and killed sound? Whoa! That sounds pretty good. How do you guys have that kind of money? <laughs> oh, we do. <laughs> yeah, we're well, trading. They do a lot of trading. Hey... <laughs> Right. Don't forget, we're still going to want that crowd. wall built at some point, eventually, soon. Where's <laughs> <laughs> that wall? Some point, eventually, soon. Yeah, but with all these guys gone, you won't need it. We already so, discussed well, no, idea. that's not true. Somebody else can come here. Besides, look at all this great stone you could use, right? Yeah, this is great. Hey, so, guys. I mean, maybe in a couple months we could have enough of this cut out and, like, brought over that you could just build it for us. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Let's hide out and watch uh, watch what they do for the next day. Come on. Yeah, let's just hide out. So that's what we do. <laughs> here. I think we should try my we disguise. Hide out. My disguise. And I'll not. Monk Deeds has a different suggestion. Monk Deeds says, well, what if I just go over there and, like, sneak around and see if I can see anything more close than this? Because I am pretty sneaky when I want to be. I don't know. Although, that sounds dangerous. I, I'm, I'm sneaky as Peaky well. Peaky was always more stealthy than I was, but they that won't be able to dangerous. see me. Look, and he starts stripping off his clothes. Yeah, that's oh. That sounds dangerous. He's down to his coin cloth. I think it's probably he better stands that against the trees. Up. Yeah, I should go with him, because I am stealthy as well. But look at me. No, you're not. You're too big to be stealthy. I can be smaller. Look, I can crouch. All right. All right. I try hiding and I and I got a good score. 
That's a pretty good score. 23. Are you wearing a shirt? Yes, I'm not using my chameleon abilities. Cool. So yeah, you, uh, you pop behind a tree. And, um... I got a pop. And then I walk a few feet. The high voice comes from where they're not expecting it. <coughs> Hello, Mike, see you guys. Me and Mom Deep. Well, if you're trying to do that, everybody's got to roll for spot. Not really. See if they see you just walking around. Michaela well, doesn't. Can... She didn't notice you. I, didn't I think we might have Where'd a bonus for watching Fiji? him actually walk into the behind the tree. It's gone. <laughs> Alright, right. hey guys, are we really that Nate? Yeah. Nate, how far away are we? From where? The entrance? Yeah. 20 feet. 30 so feet, maybe. We don't need to get any place, right? Why would we be getting any place? Let's just walk. Alright. Yeah, it's right there. So he puts his clothes back on. Any excuse that you strip out of those clothes, any excuse. What was that a 20 for? Just strip. Was that a 20 for getting dressed? Yes. That was a stripping. No, that's just what Greg did. So I did it too. Inside that 20. It's amazing. Oh, wait. <laughs> so, how long do you guys want to wait? Well, we'll take a day to scout we'll the area. Okay. Um, well, it's noon now, so you're going to wait all day. I take it you're going to get in like good hiding positions, right? Michaela did. Yeah, we all did. She set up, she set up some uh, branches and stuff to cover her. Um, yeah. Yeah, but she did a really damn good job. Sometimes you lose sight of her just because you're not paying attention to where she is. Well, we'll, we'll hide with her then. We'll let her, you know, set it all in course. <laughs> nah, I gotta re-roll that then. <laughs> yeah, she does a really good job of that too. Not quite as good, but she makes a good, like, camo cover from all the fallen debris and branches and stuff like that and twigs and leaves. Oh, yeah. I don't know <laughs> I have another idea. If um, if when we're hiding and you know a group does come out, if they don't number greater than us, we should follow them and pick them off so that there's that many less in the place when we do raid. Yeah, but as soon as we take out the first one, if they make any noise, then everybody knows we're there. But what I'm saying is, if they leave, we'll follow. Plus, them. what if they're going to raid the Gobber Village? Then we'll go back there and kill them. Well, yeah, but well, if they... Oh, you mean leave far away, not just walk out of there. Their... Yeah, no, no, I don't mean like they'll walk out their door ten feet and then we'll attack. I mean, we'll follow them to wherever it is that they're going. Maybe I a see. good, you know, ten minutes away before we start attacking. Out of earshot. Oh, you know what? Gotcha. You were just reminded me, like we said before, we are not. We don't want to uh, have to charge into their cave with whatever defenses they have ready. We probably want to draw them out to fight them. Yeah, well, this would be part of that. Yeah. Well, don't... Exactly. <laughs> Rafiki, could I see that map you made? It says, uh... Michaela. I didn't make it, but I'll give it to you. The, the map you, you found. Yeah. I had a tour. This says bang door three hits. Now, do you think that that might mean that um, no one would know you were there unless you were knocking on the door? Oh, These aren't black over we're talking about, I mean. And clearly this one wasn't that smart, but no, 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 no. I I'm afraid that inside it would be um it would be well defended. Well you yeah, guys know they're gonna come out at night though, right? If they're coming out at all, they'll be coming out at night and they'll have well, a big advantage over us. No well, yeah, yes and no, because we'll have the surprise attack at the very least. 
Well, that's true. At least I hope you will. We'll stalk them. Okay, well, I'm done with that if that's what you want to do. Sounds like a good idea. Since we still have a full moon tonight, or very close to one, and it's, oh my god, the skies are perfectly clear. Not a cloud in the sky. Alright, as far as the eye can see. Hey, hey Nate. Yeah. Goblins have the night vision. That's excellent. Yeah. <coughs> Do you mean dark vision? 60 feet? I don't know, it says night vision on this uh, thing on the phone. I just want to put the charts probably. Yeah, same stuff. It's, it, I, think, I think it's the same as to what the Cooper has. It. <coughs> See, YouTube won't be the distance, so, or U3 actually. Right. So when you combine that, first of all, it's not like what people buy, it's the moon out at all. Well, yeah, no, definitely. The sky is totally clear right now. There's not a cloud in the sky. And it's a full right, moon. So, so it's not like we're going to be, you guys are going to be blind. So we'll have the, the, uh, you know, the advantage of surprise. I don't expect to think about, you know, some gobbers to be hunting them down. And, um, yeah, um, yeah. We're not a gobber. Okay, so, yeah, you guys wait. Um, I, uh, you I see some more. fish jump out of the stream. I brag right. more about my activities last night and talk about how tight gobber women are. Caleb blushes. Yes, thank you, Wesley, for saving my life earlier. That Argus was coming straight for me. That's the least I can do. That's why I hit him where I did. Because I knew he and you were in trouble. Um, Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Rafiki, thank you too for taking the You're lead, welcome. that leader of the cell. Yeah. yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, you did shoot him, right? Did he die? For that? I got him right in his. One of them right in his. Yeah. Chest. Yeah. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Flies me down. So, um... You went into my call, right? About, uh, 9 o'clock, um, uh, make that 8 o'clock at night. Right after, right after, uh, dusk. It's like just getting darker. Hang on, Dave, um, can I do something first? Sure. I just wanted to uh, tie up some ropes uh, to the right kinds of trees on the side of the river so that we can swing across. Possible. Do so you want to tie up on this side and swing across yeah, yeah. to the other side? Alright, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, even if that means that I have to like uh, swim across and then tie a rope to the other side and drag it back over here. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's what it takes, I'm using my. No, I mean, it's, no, it takes, it's only eight feet wide. I mean, you can, no, no, you can slide a rope up high enough and swing across. Okay, okay yeah, that's what, that's what we'll do then. <coughs> I, I want to have, you know, the, probably three. Three? On different trees, different branches? Yeah, I'm going to set up one on the other side, so I'm going to just so I can swing back. Yeah. Five, 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 five. Alright, that's fine. <coughs> Your mad rope, your skill. Yeah. How good are you at climbing trees? I'm good enough. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think there's, unless they're extremely perilous trees, I would just take down up. Down up the trees, alright. It's really plenty of time. I don't know. You have to keep in mind going across the river for a month puts you in danger of being seen. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty light out. We have, we're pretty sure that there's nothing. Uh, okay, in that event, I'm just going to go further upstream. So, you know, like 100 feet away or whatever. Okay. That's fine. Just that it's there, and I, I can run to it as soon as possible. I need to. 
don't even have to go that far. It's like 30 feet to give you the same distance away from the entrance as you are right now. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. <coughs> and uh, as you're going up there to do that, you notice that there's a part of the creek where, um, <laughs> that's great, where um, it's not even a foot deep. And uh, you realize you can walk right across. So do you still tie up the rope up there? Yeah. I tie the right. trees. Go oh, and, uh, does anybody have any Galifrons? No? Yes. <coughs> Here, see this, uh, this highest point where the, the, the river is the most shallow? Mm-hmm. They might use that, knowing the area really well. So let's put some cow traps there and just remember to run, uh, you know, to the right or left of it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. all still hiding. I don't want to. You can go put. I don't. <coughs> no. I, never mind. I <laughs> don't want to get my cow traps wet. <coughs> made of metal. Please. They're made of metal. I don't want them to rust. Samurai sword. Man, Here you can have my three. Don't worry Here's about it. Three cow traps. I don't want them. Oh, okay. Hey. All right. Fine. Don't worry. Save me that way. Maybe indigestion. Two copper apiece. Okay. So, um, anyway, as I was saying before, at around 8 o'clock, <coughs> um, there's a party of... Black Oak Ring that come walking out. Small party. Okay. Uh, Gooper, roll a d20. Yeah, 15. Let's do with the Black Oak Ring. 15? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Michaela also notices, hey, she says, hey, those are the same Oak Ring we fought last the night before last. Those are the same three that ran away. The three of the three and the four. Like <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, they start walk, walking north along the bank. Um. So they get maybe twenty feet. You can still see them. It's a nice wide open area. They uh, they keep walking. You can pretty much tell they're going to try to cross the stream where. Um, where Rafiki mentioned it was very shallow. And um, actually... Yeah, no, that's fine. And uh, so they crawl across the stream, the creek, and after they cross the stream, they're, they're out of eyesight. So do you guys want to break from your hiding spot? Follow no. them, right? I'm going to... Yeah, I think we need to follow them. But, like, we'll keep wait, a distance. <coughs> okay. Well, this was the plan, right? That we yeah. follow them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so to, to, to save time, guys, just everybody roll a d20 once, and we'll, and we'll just go for moving silently. I'll just I'll just make it one roll just to simplify the whole process. Well, there's so and many of us. We're about to fail. Them. Not necessarily. Yeah, we'll see about that. It depends on how high he makes the, the whatever you call it. Uh, 21. The DC. I mean, it's a forest, so there's sounds already. 15. The woods. Depends on how bad it looks like that, I would say. What'd you get, Louie? 15, 15 for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not like we're in a quiet house. <coughs> in the village, you know? Don't worry, bud. You don't have to make an argument. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, so anyway, um, all right, that's that's fine. Um, Basically, uh, um, only one of them thought that he heard you at one point, and the other two were like, nah, man, you're totally crazy, there's nothing back there. One of them rolled a one, so he totally convinced them that nobody was there. (coughs) That one time he seemed to look back. The video was like, nah, man, come on, let's go, let's go. Here, have some of my, have some of my uh, ale. Drink it up. Here so we can go fight this, this ogre. 
here at that village. So he makes it well known that uh, they're heading back to the village. They're going back to the our, what, yeah. our village. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, this, well, not not your village, Rafiki and Mungdi's village. Yeah. Okay. I, I whisper to these guys. All right. Here's the plan. Rafiki, Mundith, you you arc off to the left, and I'll arc off to the right. Um, Michaela, you take a shot at them as many as you can as we're rushing in. Goopier, you rush down the middle, um, and we'll all do that on a signal, whatever that might be. Uh, maybe once we're all in position, uh, we can make an animal noise and just all rush in from all sides so they get confused <laughs> and they don't stand a chance. Okay. Or should we just base it on Cooper's uh, charge? Yeah, we could base it on Cooper's charge. That's an idea. So as soon as we hear him <laughs> rushing forward, we'll uh, rush forward too, I guess. And we'll try and pincer them and take them by surprise. That sounds like a plan to me. Guys, I want to I wanna try to get off a shot at the very beginning, so they're not ready. Okay. Oh, you're not a rush-up kind of guy, are you? No. But uh, well, in that case, you have like any branches as long sword. Well, in that like case, it's, uh, I'm gonna like go it's Cooper's great listen, sword. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and climb up a tree and um, and wait in a spot. Um, and then when, when, while Cooper's charging up, that's when I'll, uh, as soon as I see Cooper, that's when I'll fire my first shot. All right, that's fine. So in that case, uh, your brother can go around to the side and I'll go around to the side. You guys uh, can take your... Uh, your shots and Goupier will charge up the middle. Well, I'm kind of more of a charge up guy myself too. I, I have my my long sword, which is part like my great sword. Well, I just thought it might be good to take them from the sides as well. So why don't you go around from the side and charge them? That's fine. I'll I'll, I'll lie and wait until they get close enough and Goopier charges and then I'll jump up too. Okay, let's do this. That's fine. So we roll for initiative. No, if we get a surprise... And so basically you just want to keep me safe and away from everything so I can shoot my arrows, right? Exactly. You stay back and just take shots, I guess. I guess. I don't know if that's your thing. I can do that. All right. Unless I get the itch. Well, hey, listen, um... So run on in. As far as the, uh... The, uh rules for this go. I guess that we all get... S- I guess we have to roll for a surprise attack? I'm not sure. We shouldn't have to roll initiative if we have the surprise attack. We roll an initiative after the surprise attack. <clears throat> yeah, you're definitely going to catch them flat-footed if nothing else. I mean, okay. there's, there's no question that uh, you surprise them with your attack. All they're getting is their armor. Oh, well, I mean, just so you know, barbarians can't be flat-footed. Depends on their level, actually. Okay, uh, yeah, depends on the level. Alright, so, um... How do you want to do this? Alright, um... Well, let's roll, roll for initiative just so we can get the attack order in place for, um, who actually makes their attack in the first and the first place. Okay. <coughs> I got a one. Hold on. Yeah, I got all that. Hope you got a 19. So a one and a 19? Yeah. I got 20 all together. Who got the one and who got the 19? I got the one, but uh, it's actually a four. Sorry, Cooper got sorry. a 19. So four, four, four and a 19, that's what I meant. Rafiki, what'd you get? 20. 20. 
everybody else will be going next morning, yeah. <coughs> okay, so the plan sets into motion. Cooper strolls on ahead, confident and quiet, since they don't notice him. And, um, So, are you going to uh, start this knock-off? Well, yeah. I attack them. <laughs> you going to... Uh, but I, I do say... That's what you going to do. As I'm attacking them, I'm, I say to them, <clears throat> Well, I heard you're looking for a fight. Well, let me save you your travel. And, uh, yeah, I probably have... Yeah, yeah. I rolled a 17. Yeah, he hit. Plus okay, 7. Don't I, don't I get to attack first? Yeah, you do. Weren't we all waiting yep. for Goupier to attack? So technically, Goupier attacks first? We are waiting for so Well, no, the idea was walking. to wait until, until, he's, until he's basically... Well, until the other o- the ogres know that he's a threat, basically. So I'm holding yeah, my he, he started until talking, though. I'd say that, was, that would be a cue. Yeah, that was a cue <laughs> when I started talking. Okay, so... Damn! Uh... What was my plus? Yeah, motherfuckers looking for me! Thirteen plus seven. Okay. Twenty-three, yeah, there's no question. Uh, it's gonna be... And, uh... I got... I got to do... D8 plus my sneak attack. What's my sneak attack at this level, guy? You know? Uh, give me a second, I'll find out. Thanks. It's probably 2d6, man. Stupid, I got 8 again. <laughs> Are you using your short sword? No, no, my, uh, my repeating crossbow. But... Wait a minute. Repeating You can't repeating do a crossbow. sneak attack with a ranged weapon. Yeah, man. I just looked it up. You, as long as you're within 30 feet, you can. What? Wow. Okay. Yeah. It says range um, attacks okay, can be so... sneak attacks only if the range is 30 feet or less. So let me see what your sneak attack damage is. 3d6 plus your damage. Second attack. Nice! Yeah. So three, three, you know you can't be flanked uh, right now, right? Huh? You have evasion. Oh, so any successful speed flex saves take no damage. Dodge, you keep your dexterity, you can't be playing. Great. Uh, I got uh, all you should together know. 18 points of damage, man. Oh, 18 points of damage with this beastly sneak attack right there. With a bolt, um, man. That's, that's a fucking sick bolt. <laughs> uh, no one wants to get hit with a bolt like that, man. Hit the one on the which side were you going around the left side or the right side? Oh, I think if I had the option, I would I would go for the bulkiest one, just by the option. It might but be hard. Well, like and I'm just thinking if you're trying to flank them and you're coming around the sides, your best shot would probably be one of the ones on the side. Probably would. Or remember, I, I, I mean, went I tried ahead, ahead, ahead of them. Or, remember, I went ahead of them. I wasn't. Uh, ahead I wasn't. Of them. Yeah, yeah. That way, they would we would be surrounded. Okay. That was oh, yeah, that's fine. If you want to shoot the one in the middle, that's fine. Yeah. Is that that you're shooting at? Yep, and I'm way up my tree. <laughs> and you hit him for how much? And, and I'm trying to hide still, too, just so you know. I mean, it, yeah, that's the yeah, yeah, nice part. 
Okay. I mean, you basically all three of them have their back to you right now. So. If you kill one, you go through. How much damage did you do? 19? Uh, no, I think it was 18. 18? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, you know what? It doesn't matter. You, you knock them down, so yeah, you can clean yeah. it. Go ahead, take your, take your additional I think as long as he's out of commission. Yeah, so long as he falls down. Yeah, it's another hit. Damn. Seventeen. To uh, the one on the left or the one on the right? Doesn't matter. The uh, one with one three one arrows one. stuck in his chest or the one that's yeah, perfectly that one. fine? The one that has three arrows. <laughs> and you got 17 on him? Yeah. He falls down. I cleave again then. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's power. That, no, that right. power. Somebody... That's, that's greater, please. Isn't Sorry. there nobody left? No, there, there's one. No, there's one but standing still. I, perfectly unharmed. I don't have greater cleave or whatever it's called, power cleave. <laughs> okay. Um, Mung Deep charges out of the bushes. And, and wow. <laughs> he cuts a little gash in the, in the one who's perfectly unhurt. He cuts a little gash in his arm. <coughs> I mean, you know, he's really stunned. The Ogren barely even noticed him. He sees the steel more than anything else. And he is barely, I mean, you know, pulls away from the swing is why. <coughs> and, um,. Turn. He, um, he's flying. 
I believe. Yeah. Do oh, I get wait. to go? Daniel, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to attack yeah, you him. You still get to go first. Nice. I'm going to go for some stats. So you come out of the bushes yeah. as well? Yeah. <clears throat> and I attack him. In the face. Alright, do, do me a favor and just roll a d20 and tell me what it is. Eight. I rolled an eight. An 80. And what's your dexterity? No, I rolled an 8, and my dexterity is 17. What oh, do you yeah, need? Okay. <coughs> it was just a jump over the other two bodies that were in the way of you doing your sneak attack on this guy, which you did just fine. Okay. You actually ended up going kind of past them. It's cool. <coughs> so, Alright, so what's this, guy's, what's, the, well, what's this guy's armor class? Uh, 14. Okay, did you want me to... Wait, that, that that roll that I just made, did I make it to do the uh, the attack roll? That was just to get over the bodies. You can do your attack roll, yeah. So now I need to do an attack roll. Okay, fine. What? Why yeah. is it only a 14? It's a hit. Don't worry. Because even, even... I mean, I'm, I'm just giving you the benefit of that saying he's flat-footed. Yes, oh. yeah, no dexterity. <laughs> and that would be a 14 instead of a 15. I mean, yeah, it's only one thing for dexterity, so... He's still got his change turned on, so... Uh, yeah, I just forget how low that is. First hit's 11. Nice. And I'm going to do one more. Yep. Uh, second hit is... 11 again. Nice. background. Okay. That was ridiculous. All right. Um, just one standing of the three. That's what I thought. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Daniel, Mundit, and Cooper, you all see an arrow whiz by only one this time, and it hits him in the thigh. <clears throat> but he's still good to go. My turn. Yep. The key. You still have a clear shot to his back. By the way. Four Ogan Holmes! Uh, 24. <coughs> and I got, I got six damage. Oh, wait, oh, wait it's a sneak attack. Yeah, because he's the 96 there. damage. I also screamed for Ogden Bolt, so yeah, it doesn't fly to the cat. Not gonna die. No, no, they, they died. <laughs> one of them's gonna get. Uh, one of them's gonna get an interview. Greg's like trying to give him CPR right now. No, I am. I'm trying to save one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Um, okay, actually, the the one in the middle, he's bleeding out. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try you, and help I'll give guys. you. I'll give you one roll. Whoever whoever has the highest first aid, which I think you'd know by now. Ooh, oh, I'll one. give him one shot to save his life. I don't have the highest first aid. Though. <laughs> oh, there one. Yeah, but I don't have the highest first but aid. He was the person that jumped on it. <laughs> man, Greg. I don't have the highest first aid, man. Fuck that up, man. Knowledge. Yeah, no. Greg stabbed him in the face. <laughs> it's like you tripped on him or something. <laughs> Landed on him with your dagger. <laughs> you slipped on the blood that was all in the dirt and landed right on him with your dagger. <laughs> you Michaela couldn't save him. He's dead. <laughs> the other one's kind of the, <clears throat> the first one that you took down that was on the right hand side or left hand side. He was he's still twitching. I wrote it for who actually has any skill in healing? Anyone? No. Let's do some critical smash. No. Five years smash his head in. I rolled a 20. <laughs> I rolled a 3. So I tripped on him and kind of landed on his wound, which just made it go to blood even more. And then he stepped on his face, trying to give him CPR. Yeah. 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 That was just... That was the sneak attack worked a little too well. Alright, so we, are we going, going back to that? How did you get, wait, wait, Booby, how did you get 22 damage? Did you start raging or something? Yeah, I raged when I, when I, I broke. Nice. I also, that was insane. I'm out you, of rage. You made now, a minus 11 with your first hit. Took so him right out of there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the three of them are dead. <clears throat> the Kayla runs up and pulls her arrows out. <laughs> Start nice searching the body nice. that had the most arrows in it. Yeah, well, that was effective. I, I climbed down off of my train. Yeah, I, I can say that evil too well, guys. So let's uh, I go, go and back. retrieve my deadly, deadly bolts from their oh, dead, bloated corpses. Bolts of death. And I feast on the maggots. I want downloadable suicides. I want them That's great, guys. That's 30 gold. Right? That's a 10 gold apiece, right? We need to bring their left ears, right? Oh, no, you're here. It did say 20 last time, but... Oh, yeah, 20. That's right. So that's 60 so far. But let's go... Let's go back to that door and knock on it three times. You, you, you guys see Michaela... Pull up, pull up a, a kind of heavy purse off the first person, off the first over. <laughs> Just nice. hey, this guy had a lot of money. You guys gonna search the other two bodies? I don't know. You I gonna let the do your dirty work? I'm gonna let that purse and see what. what. What's in it, Michaela? I don't know yet. Let's finish getting everything first, then we'll then we'll divvy up the loot. Well, I want to see what's in there. Here, I'll look, you guys. I grab the purse. No! I saw it for it. I saw anything in it. We all start fighting over this one. I said. What, nice she's purse. preventing me? Yeah. Yeah. Is she trying she's to stop me from taking snatch it? it out of her hand? She's not going to just snatch it out of her hand. She doesn't think of that well. Okay. Right. You're a gobber. <laughs> what am I uh, rolling for? Yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be really hard to beat. Hey, what are you doing? Just said it. It's, it's a lot of, it's got a lot of money in it. Yeah, I put it up in my It's got, yeah, a, lot, it's it's got it gold or a lot of money or right? copper. There's some of everything. He eats okay. it. It's heavy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Michaela. Oh, yeah. I toss it back to her. She takes it back. Kind of looking at you distrustingly. Jack. <laughs> okay, so well, I guess if nobody else is going to search these bodies, I will. Oh, you guys don't want to search these bodies? No. I, I search them then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you, you find one of them as a purse. So I take, size to the other one. I take that purse. 
Shirts if anybody wants to try to take one or nah. any of them. They're not too badly damaged. I mean, you guys know they're, they're worth gold. I mean, granted, they're not worth anywhere near what you'd be getting from the bounty. But... <coughs> Actually, that's not true. Chain shirt? It's worth a pretty penny. Yeah, well, we take all the loot. And put it on the wagon. Yeah. Do you take it all? Yeah, we take all the loot. Put it on the wagon? Yeah, the wagon. As long, as long as we have the wagon. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, that's why it took Monkey so long he was pulling the wagon. Oh, we severed <laughs> We severed one of their heads and put it on a stick. And we put a string on the Yeah, if you want to do that. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, just so we can knock three times with this severed head. And then punch the guy that opens a door with his friend's severed head. Ah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. Let's do that. That was my lead. Very sick. I got using the head. He was really excited about being a part of that last battle. Even though all he did was, like, do one hit point of damage, he, <laughs> he's acting like he, he killed them. It's great. He, like, climbed on top of their heads and stuff. Good job, monkey. <laughs> really pisses yeah, off. I'm like, yeah, we really marching this territory on their dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so that was over really quick. Did you guys go back? Yeah, we go back to that door. Yeah. I mean, that was like a, a three cent battle, literally. literally. Wow. Yeah. It's hacking to pieces. Well, should, should, yeah, we, should we go go there now and, and see if there's yeah. anybody left in there or what? Because yeah, that was yeah. the rest of the people that we saw raiding before. Well, we should, should we wait till morning? We should check what they have in there if anyone else is in there. Well, plus, they only left about 20 minutes ago, so this could be, <coughs> they might think that, that it's just them coming back because they forgot them. Yeah. <coughs> we have to <coughs> And we have their severed heads, so they'll open up. They'll be like, oh, it's... Kami. It's just our friend's severed head. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right. So we, we clean yeah, up his exactly. Head. We clean up his severed head to make it look like he's still alive. Put his eyeballs back Okay, up. so, um, you drag all their loot back to the hiding spot and kind of stash it all right? Yeah. I mean, I kind of assume that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, you guys just mosey on up to the door, or what? Yeah, I should I say the cavern entrance. entrance. I kind of mosey on there. Alright. The has got her bow out, kind of pointing it around. He's, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's just going to stand there. Yeah. Oh, but there's nobody there. You, uh, <coughs> kind of walk in. There's kind of a pathway up here, which is, um, you're basically entering this fairly large cavernous area. And there's torches along one wall that, that uh, kind of it kind of looks like a pathway, and it leads you deeper into the caverns. I go there. All right. So as you walk along, um, a couple minutes go by, and, and the cavern, you know, it narrows down, and you're here in a tunnel now. You know, it narrows down to the cavern, it narrows down to a tunnel. <coughs> And um, there's, there's only a few torches, there's not many. These guys seem to be pretty well right? So, um, I don't know if that would be additional, or just be dangled and care about it. 
we're having a hard time seeing quite as well in this area. Um, and now you come upon a door. Yes, the door! Easily enough. There's a big door kind of blocking your way from going any further. It's made of oak and iron. Strong yep. door. I think you guys ready. Um, uh, guys, are you sure this is a hey. Okay. Are you sure this is how we want to handle all this? Yes. Want to just walk up and knock? Yep. Cooper, you're you're an iron worker, right? Yes. <coughs> Roll a d20. Got eleven. Twelve. Uh, all right. Yeah, you yeah. noticed that it, it, uh, it was put in very recently and, and not too shabbily. The door yeah. that is. Put it very recently and not too shabbily. I can make an attempt at uh, maybe opening this door oh. without anyone's knowledge. I can't hear anything. Huh? Yeah, they're fuzzing up. You're fuzzing up, guys. Oh, we're fuzzing out? Anything. We're fuzzing up? Oh, no. How dare you? How dare you? Can you hear us now? It's fine. He's not fuzzy. I can't How about hear now? Nothing. Yeah, I hear like you now. No noise. Here, I'm gonna log out and come back. No, hold on, wait, wait, wait. He has no noise. Oh. Yeah, me up in it as soon as I get back on. No noise. Nathan, you can hear us, right? Nathan, yeah, I can hear you now. It's still fuzzy a little bit, but it's alright. Ah, uh, fuzz. <coughs> hey guys, you wanna take a break real quick? Sure. Like a couple minutes. Yeah, sure. Wait till Jerry gets back on. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. This recording. Yeah, I'm wondering how myself. I wonder what format they're doing in. Thank you.